Hi everybody, I'm back. I'm Lori, Lori Ann's Kitchen. This is my daughter Jillian, and this is my daughter Jalen. Um, those of you who know me know I run a hectic schedule. Those of you who don't, I'm telling you I run a hectic schedule. I work full time, I go to school full time, and I have my three kids at home with me. My oldest still lives in New York. Today the girls are going to make you baked macaroni and cheese. Sometimes it's just crazy between doing homework, going to school and everything, so sometimes they take on dinner themselves, and this is what they like to make. Right girls? Yes. yes. Okay, go ahead. Explain what you're doing as you're doing it. I put the pan on medium hot. Oh. continuously so it doesn't burn to the bottom. Right, Jay? Yeah. Okay, now you could just let it boil. Put your spoon in the spoon rest. No. Don't put the cheese up too high because it will burn. Oh, um, we're using the soft cheese, Velveeta cheese. Do you put it in um, Not high. Um, because it just gives it such a creamy texture. Um, we'll add the cheddar cheese in later, but the Velveeta cheese is so creamy when it comes out. And Velveeta just came out with a new cheese, and it has a Mexican mix to it, so it's spicy. So if you like a macaroni and cheese spicy, you could even use that one. Okay, Jillian has the cheese melting, and now she's going to add some sharp cheddar cheese to give it a little bit of zing. Um, I know some of you are sitting around going, oh my goodness, she didn't add this, she didn't add that. This is just my version of a quick macaroni and cheese. A macaroni and cheese that you can put on the table in 20 minutes. And that's why we do it like this, because I don't have time sometimes to put great five different cheeses and put all the ingredients and whip egg whites and, you know, that's, that, that is a good way to do it. And sometimes if I have time, I do do it. I found this an easier way because sometimes I just don't have time. Sometimes I only have time, 30 minutes to get dinner on the table. So, because the kids love macaroni and cheese, and I'd rather not, you know, give macaroni and cheese out of a box, we do it this way. And it's easy, and the girls can do it. As long as I'm in the same room with them, the girls can do the entire thing with no problem. Okay, Jillian just melted down all of the cheeses. Right? Nice and cheese? Yeah. How's the pasta coming? Good. Is it done? I think so. Remember what I said? The pasta al dente, because... We're going to bake it in the oven. We're going to make it in the oven, and it's going to continue cooking in the cheese sauce. Mom, why do we have potato chips okay. on the counter? Huh? Why do we have potato chips oh, on the counter? Oh, because we're going to top the macaroni and bake macaroni and cheese with potato chips. Because potato chips have the salt in it and the crunch. Some people put, like I said, it's all a matter of what you're used to. Some people put um, breadcrumbs on it, and they, they wet the breadcrumbs, and they put some oil on it. I just found this easy for the kids and fun. This is why we do it like this. You need is it okay? Yeah, it's done. You need oven mitts. No, I don't. No, that could actually go a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Even though it's going to cook in the oven, let's just cook it another two or three minutes. That's really authentic. Okay? okay, we're going to put the pasta, after we're done straining the pasta, we're going to put the pasta back into the hot pot because it will absorb some of the moisture being back in the hot pot. Shut the stove off because we don't want to cook it anymore. Okay. Then we're going to pour the cheese in with the Little pasta. by little until you see the right consistency. Okay. Go ahead. Stir it up. Okay. Put more. 
Keep stirring, Jayla. Okay, keep coming. Alright, we used it all. If you go to my blog or my Twitter, I'll give you measurements. I actually got up this morning and measured everything out for those of you who need measurements. So if you go to my blog or you go to my Twitter, I will have measurements for you on there. Put that in the sink. Okay. See how creamy it is? Cook it a little bit so it gets thick on the stove. Okay. Give me my um, green spoon. Green spoon. Yes. The spatula? Mm hmm. A little one or a big one? The one I have. Oh, that. Okay. Cover the whole top of potato chips. I put the potato chips in a Ziploc bag, a gallon bag, and I crunched them all up. And the potato chips, because they're so salty, and they're going to give such a good crunch to the end of this dish. You could sprinkle a little bit of butter on it if you want, to get a little bit of crispiness to it. And then I just put it in the oven. The oven is on 350.